Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Emmanuel and in this video we will be talking about how to exclude keywords in Google Shopping for both the standard shopping campaign and also Performance Max. So for standard shopping campaign, when you're in this new UI, you want to go to campaigns, then choose your uh, Google Shopping campaign And then underneath audience keywords and content, we want to select search keywords. And here you will get a tab that says negative search keywords. Now simply click on the blue button and then you can choose either to add it to the campaign or in the ad group. And then you choose the ad group, for example, like this. And in this case, what I want to do is exclude bath rugs. Of course, this is already added, but you can do it this way. So we do it bath rugs, we scroll to the bottom, and then we want to click on save. Then bath rugs is added as a negative uh, keyword. So you can do both uh, phrase, um, just broad or specific uh, exact match uh, negative keywords within the standard shopping campaign. So that is how you do that. Now for the performance max campaign. So when we go and go to all campaigns. So we have performance max here. And then we actually, instead of going here, we want to go to the settings. So we want to go back to all campaigns. And instead of clicking on it, what we want to do is click on the gear icon when we hover over the perform performance max campaign. And then we want to scroll to the bottom and click on additional settings. Then we want to go to brand exclusion. And here, as the word now suggests, you can only exclude brand exclusions. Now I have not tested out if you could exclude anything else but for example if we want to exclude the brand name we can do that here this is especially useful if you don't want to target your own brand within performance max but for example uh, set up a separate campaign so that you can bid a lot lower because what uh, performance max will do is they just bid based on your bidding strategy uh, so in most cases for example i would want to just bit five cents or five pence within uh, a branded search term and uh, exclude it from performance max. So in this case, what we want to do is then click on new brand list. We will just call it test. And then here, what we will do is add test as a brand. So now you get like a bunch of selection options. And this is because it will um, associate the website to the brand exclusion. You can exclude, for example, competitors as well. As I suggested, this is not really excluding search keywords. So I don't believe you can just uh, exclude non-branded keywords, but at least you can try. Uh, so it goes through a review process after you've added. But basically, normally you add your brand name here and then it will show your branded website URL and then you select that. So once you've added your brand name, what you want to do is click on save and then it goes through a review process. And this may take up to one month. I've seen it like it takes a quite a long time for Google to review uh, these negative keywords. Um, so I would especially do that for your own brand so that you can separate the branded search terms using, for example, even standard shopping campaigns or with uh, text ads uh, so that you can then uh, bid a lot lower on those uh, branded search terms because Performance Max tends to overbid for branded search terms to be able to reach your um, target RRS bidding. And I don't find, find it very helpful. Uh, it's actually quite, a, uh, it wastes a lot of uh, budget if you uh, allow Google to bid uh, on branded search terms within Performance Max. So this is recommended that you exclude it this way. Maybe in the future, it will allow you to also exclude non-branded search terms. However, in this uh, case at uh, in February 2024, it's not possible. 
if there is a feature that allows you to exclude uh, via non-branded methods, then of course I will post it on my website or create a new video regarding this. And so that is how you exclude negative keywords in Performance Max and standard shopping campaigns. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.